Hello everybody, welcome back to Mining Modern, and this week, what else can we play? We're playing Scred Red. <laughs> now, there's a, you see that this is the delay in these videos coming out, but I was at Grand Prix Dallas last weekend, and I covered Kevin Mackey winning the event with Scred Red, and I knew there was just no way I could not play the deck after that, so here we go. Um, for those of you who don't know, this deck is basically a red control deck. Uh, it's named after its namesake card here in Scred. Uh, one mana, you can deal damage to a creature equal number of snow permanents you control. So how do we get snow permanents? What is a snow permanent? Um, back in Ice Age, back in the very early days of Magic, they had a theme of snow. You'd have snow creatures, snow lands, uh, and it was just, uh, they. it's another super type that had effects on cards like Scred. Uh, they revisited it in Cold Snap, and that's where we got the card. So how do we make that happen in this deck? We have snow-covered mountains. It's a basic snow land mountain. It has all the same characteristics as a normal mountain, it just also is snow. So that makes our Scred an extremely potent one-mana removal spell throughout the entire game. Uh, it also means we get to play Scrying Sheets, which is a nice, really solid uh, late-game advantage card. You know, add one to your pool. One in a snow mana, which is what these make. They make snow red mana. Uh, you can look at the top card of your library. If it's a snow card, you can put it in your hand. So it helps you in the late game pool lands off the top of your deck to improve your draw step. Uh, now the rest of the deck, more control. Lightning Bolt. Relic of Progenitus, pretty good with Dredge in the field right now and get a main deck it. Magma Jet for some more removal and scry value. Mindstone, very good at letting us play our four drops a turn early. Uh, pretty important here. Also can cycle for a card late game. We get a lot of people out with Blood Moon. We get a wreck creature decks with Anger of the Gods. Uh, I'll come back to this other <laughs> other here. Uh, we have a couple Chandra Torture Defiance, which is really good in this deck. Coming down, get a kill a creature. Uh, this is the one change. Kevin had one Chandra in his main deck. He said after the finals he was going to add another. So we've cut one PN Kira Nilar, which is just a great uh, card on its own, for the second Chandra. Uh, then we have Koth of the Hammer, uh, which is also a very good wick addition in a deck full of mountains. You can kill him with four fours if you can get this on field when the opponent doesn't have you know a board presence to kill it you can even make mana with it which is a thing that comes up when you want to monstrous your storm breath dragon which is another threat at the top end has haste protection from white uh, and the one batter skull so now eternal scourge now what is this this is an eldritch moon card i don't think any of us ever thought would see modern play <laughs> but uh you can cast it from exile when it becomes the target of a spell or ability your opponent controls exile what it is, it's just a value creature in a deck that grinds people out. You know, if they kill it, it's like, oh, we can cast it again for three mana. Uh, it also combos with Relic. If someone kills it with, uh, you know, combat damage, it ends up in our graveyard somehow. Well, we can exile it with Relic of Virginitas and cast it again. You can exile it to Chandra, Torture Defiance, deal two damage to your opponent, and then cast it anyways. Uh, it's, it's really weird, but, you know, I certainly never thought you'd see this uh, win a modern Grand Prix. But here we are, and it happened. Uh, moving on to the sideboard. We have Shattering Spree for Affinity and Lantern. We have Dragon's Claws for Burn. Uh, we have Rabble Masters, uh, I'm guessing, against more control decks. Molten Rain for something like Jund in those decks uh, that can, you know, theoretically play around Blood Moon, but still get hurt by it. Uh, Cage for more uh, Cord Company, Dredge Shenanigans, and then Ricochet Trap for Counter Spells, which is a pretty sweet one. Uh, so that's our deck, Scred Red. It's like a Tier 4 modern deck that came out of nowhere to win a Grand Prix, so here we go. <laughs> Let's see how it works out. 